Hello, this is also a video about query language and it is about the real power of queries is grouping. We'll make some aggregate functions, some average, min, max and count. We'll find how to make group by and pivots. Let's start. This is a sample table. Left side is data. And here's our formula. Equals query data in curly bracket k1 is a reference to cell with query and the main part is query text. Select some column 4, some by column 4 and we see the total is 267. Uh, this is not so hard and also we may do it count. Count is 10. Count can be applied to any column. Column 1. Here. Column 2. Because it counts all occurrences of some. Column 3. 10. As you see when we count text we must at another condition. So it it will count only text that is not equals to nothing. Where call to not equals nothing. Empty string. And we have the, the same result 10. But we can't sum it because it is text. It will give me an error value Unable to parse query string function, average sum only numeric function. But also to remind me that there is another fun function average, avg, and by column 4, of course, column 4, hit enter and have average. And there is also mean and max functions. Mean minus 15 and max 150 well okay it's okay but main power of this aggregate functions is grouping by let's select column 2 and also column 3 comma max by all these columns it may be any function let's make average AVG. And then we must print group by close and after group by we must select all not aggregate selection. In our case this is code 2 and code 3 because average code 4 is aggregate. We don't need to group by. Hit enter and see this result, it also pasted empty string, so we must enter where, where, go to not equals empty string. And we must also mind our order, where close must be after selecting and then group by. Hit enter and it's now ok. It doesn't show us empty row in the result. And also, that's not all. We also may pivot. Let's pivot. Let's take this call 3 out of select and out of group by close. And at the end of our query string, let's print pivot call 3. And hit enter and you see this is the result. Averages by code 2. Here is our names. Here is the result. False. Average by false is 0. Average by true by max is nothing because there is no such line. Let's add some data. Hit also max. Let it be true and let it be some number 15. And it automatically shows in the result and this is a really interesting feature because we had our normal table and 
here we have Y table. It is showed like the real report. It is, can be very interesting. You just change some text, average to sum, let it be, and immediately you get another result. I hope you like this video and see you soon.